Hi guys, and welcome to today's tutorial on uh, population. And in today's uh, tutorial, we're going to look at factors that affect population. Uh, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, and you can check out more videos on our website, examrevision.ie, or uh, on our YouTube channel. So, the main factors that affect uh, population and how population can increase or decrease, uh, increase or decrease is these um, six big factors really and the first one's education so depending on how educated um, the country is will affect the population war the third one is food supply the fourth one is the health system within the country the fifth one is the status of women and the last one is technology so the first one I'm going to look at in detail is education and basically, the better the education level in the country, the lower the birth rate in that country. So in developing worlds, uh, usually people are poorly educated on farming and basically the uses of like technology and farming. So because of this, they have quite large families so they can have loads of children to work on the farm. Another reason why um, a lack of education equals higher birth rates is because no education on family planning and because they don't get much education on, on family planning they end up they tend to have quite large families as a result in the developed world however uh, people are well educated on new technology which can be used for farming practices therefore they don't need to have these large families so the children uh, to work on the farms because they don't need that because uh, machines and technology can do the work um, that the children used to do in, in the past. And the second reason is because now in, develop, in the developed countries, people have access to education regarding family planning, so different contraceptive methods that, that they're informed about, and also um, ways in which they can, they can plan their family for, uh, for the future and so on. So this reduces the amount of uh, birth rates that they have in developed worlds. The next one we're going to look at is um, how one of the factors that affect population is war. And war has a huge impact on population. Wars simply decrease the population. So in both developing and developed worlds, uh, war decreases the population because people are killed fighting. Uh, war interrupts family life, so then I have to plan for, for, to have... Have a, have a family or maybe the husband could be away fighting or it just it just completely interrupts the family life so their population isn't usually increased the birth rates are, are lowered disease usually spreads and um, particularly around like uh, refugees as they maybe might go to a refugee camp and because it's overpopulated uh, disease will become rampant and it'll spread and this will cause uh, people to die and agriculture is usually neglected and this usually results in a lack of food production, which will cause people to die. The next factor we're going to look at that affects uh, population is the food supply. Usually, an increase in food supply will increase the population, and a decrease in the food supply will decrease population. It's nice and simple. Increase in food supply will increase population. Decrease in food supply will decrease the population. So, food supply in developing worlds. Um, usually the food supply in developing world is quite low because there's a lot of uh, substance farmers. And what a substance farmer is, is that they just grow enough food to feed themselves. And sometimes, maybe because of a lack of a uh, crop might fail, they don't even have enough to feed themselves. A decrease in food supply will decrease the, the population. Also, in developing worlds, they grow a lot of cash crops. And cash crops are just for export, and they're usually goods, uh, products such as coffee, coffee beans, so they can export to developing countries to make money. So by having a lot of cash crops, this doesn't really increase the food supply in the country because they create the, the cash crop, such as a coffee bean, and then you just export to the developed countries. So it doesn't actually create any uh, surplus of food supply for that for that country therefore it will cause a decrease in the population 
However, in the developed worlds, there's a surplus of food. So a surplus of food, there's more food than people, therefore there's an increase in the food supply, which will therefore increase the population. Also, they create a wide variety of food, which will increase health. And if health increases, because they've got a wide variety of different types of food, they get all the different nutrients that a body, a person needs, well then the, this will increase uh, the population as people will live longer and people will, uh, and the overall population will, will increase. The fourth factor that affects population is health system. And when the health system in a country is improved, there's a decrease in the death rate. Um, and if the health system is weakened, then there's an increase in the death rate. So in the developing world, um, because of poor health system, thousands die each year from curable diseases such as cold, malaria, measles, diarrhea. And overall that gives the, the developing world country a high mortality rate. However, in developed countries, they have excellent medical systems. And because their health systems are so good, there's a lower mort mortality rate amongst humans. The fifth factor that we're going to look at uh, that affects population is the status of women. And the status of women is a very important role uh, within society and is a huge uh, factor that affects population. The more status that the woman has within society, this generally the smaller family that she will have. The less of a status that, she, that the woman has within society, usually the larger family that she will have. So in developing worlds, uh, usually the role of, of st the status of women is much lower and they usually have very traditional roles. And women in these countries are usually expected to mind the children, to stay at home, to cook the meals uh, and to sow the crops. So usually uh, women that are living in developing countries have, because of their status, they have much larger families and their role is basically just to look after the children. However, in developed countries, women are much more uh, better educated. They, and because their education has improved so much, they then able to seek higher uh, job roles. And because of the higher status, they then go and get those higher job roles. And because of the pressures and the time it takes to maybe run these uh like these jobs they don't have as much time to look after a larger family so they usually have a smaller amount of children so the next factor we're going to look at is uh, technology and technology affects population because usually in more developed countries the better they have better technology and the more improved the technology is within the country usually the less reliance they need to, uh, on, on children so usually the population is smaller. In poorer countries, they're not so uh, technology, uh, technologically advanced. So usually they have larger families, more increase in population because they need the children to work on the farms. In developing worlds, um, traditional farming is, is usually practiced quite, quite frequently. And that means that they need more children. So because their lack of, of technology... Um, and their traditional methods in farming, they need more children to, to help out and to work on the farm. However, in developed countries, uh, they have much more developed technology, te technology and this enables them to have less uh, children and smaller family size because they don't need as many children for the labour on the farm. However, one thing to note is that technology doesn't always reduce family sizes. Sometimes technology can help increase uh, population because um, the advancements in technology can increase the, the food supply such as dams for irrigation which will increase the food supply example of, the, of a dam might be the Hoover Dam in, in USA um, and if they increase the food supply this will therefore increase the population and another thing is um, technology can also save people's lives um, because of technolog technological advancements 
Um, this is used in many different uh, surgeries, and it can be maybe a technology that can be Im- embedded within within uh, a human's body, such as maybe a heart monitor or heart pacer or something like that. And that can also increase population. Okay, so we've come to the end of our tutorial today. Um, so this was factors that affect population. We looked at six main factors that affect population, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, and you, or maybe you would like some more videos, can, you can get more videos on my website, examvision.ie, or you can get them on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash examvision. Please, guys, can you um, give me some feedback? Um, you can do this on my uh, website page. Or even easier, you can just do it on the YouTube by leaving a comment below and maybe telling me things I can improve on or maybe telling me if you liked it or if you found it helpful. I really appreciate all the feedback that I do get. And you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at examvision for you. Thank you.